Hi, this is Dr. O'Connor. Welcome to Pathways to Chemistry. In this problem, we're told that it takes 28.18 milliliters of 0.1337 molar sodium hydroxide to neutralize 30.7 milliliters of a sulfuric acid solution. And they're asking, what is the molarity of the acid solution? And the first thing we need to do is find out the number of moles of sodium hydroxide it took to react with this acid. So we know that molarity is moles per volume, that's in liters. And we can go ahead and solve this for moles. So the number of moles will be the volume times the molarity. So let's go ahead and determine that. So we have 0 0.1337 molar or moles per liter of sodium hydroxide. And we'll multiply that by the volume. Now we have 28.18 milliliters. We need to convert that to liters. All we do is divide by a thousand. So we'll go ahead and multiply this out and we end up with 0 0.0036 seven, six moles of sodium hydroxide. I'll take care of my significant figures a little bit later. Okay, now we're ready to go to part two. What we need to do is determine the number of moles of acid that was in that flask. So remember, all of the acid is reacted with this 0 0.00376 moles of sodium hydroxide. So first thing we need to do is write the balanced equation. So we have sodium hydroxide, and we know that this is a neutralization reaction, plus the sulfuric acid. And we know that the um, products here are a salt and water. So we're going to have sodium sulfate and then water. Next thing we have to do is balance this equation. So I'm going to put a 2 here and a 2 here. And you can check and you'll see the equation is balanced. We're going to have 2 moles of sodium hydroxide for every mole of acid. So we can use this as our mole ratio, okay, to go from moles of sodium hydroxide to acid. So let's go ahead and start. We have 0 0.0037677 moles of sodium hydroxide and from our balanced chemical equation we know that one mole of sulfuric acid reacts with two moles of sodium hydroxide. So this gives us 0 0.0018838 moles of sulfuric acid. Okay, now we have the moles of sulfuric acid and we also have the volume of sulfuric acid. They tell us 30.7 milliliters which is the same as 0 0.0307 liters. So now to find the molarity I just go ahead and take the number of moles of the sulfuric acid and divide by the volume and I end up with 0 0.06136 molar and this is to the correct number of significant figures.